All right, man. Let's just get right into it for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Hey, check it out, man. I noticed y'all noticed something different around here. No sleeves on the shirt. Hey, sun's out. Guns out. Well, maybe the, maybe the sun ain't out, but but the guns is definitely out, man. Hey, check this out. We're going to try this thing a little bit backwards today, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, news, and analysis. And last but not least, make sure if you don't do anything else, you comment one of these, man. We're doing this at the beginning of the video, man. Brittany Arena, Andrea Michelle. Y'all let me know. Brittany Renner, Andrea Michelle. We're going to give y'all five seconds to comment that down below. Which one? Brittany Renner, Andrea Michelle, Andrea Michelle, Brittany Renner, Brittany Renner, Andrea Michelle. I got my theories on Andrea Michelle, boy. I mean, you can't look that good and not be crazy, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. Probably the same thing for both of them. But anyway, uh, look. Let's just get right into it. I did my own experiment and analysis last night, and I found out why people feel like 2K is dead. It's really simple. You can't play this game by yourself. If you are a random, if you are a person that plays the game normally by themselves, you really don't have a set squad, a set group, or set anything to play this game with, you're going to feel like the game is dead. Let me tell you why. I played the game last night uh, by myself, it's nearly unplayable by yourself. Not only do you have people running in the park because I'm a 99 overall, a 98 overall, and I consistently hold a 98 overall. So you know, if you're playing with somebody that's got a 97 or lower, you know by now that they're an average or worse player. 96 and 95s, they're probably terrible. But uh, I mean, or they just haven't had enough time to play the game, but or they just don't know how to get their 99 back up or what have you. But if you're playing a 98 or a 99 and they're consistently holding that, you know that you're in for a game when you play them. So number one, I, I really wasn't able to really get games. So like I went incog incognito last night. I played the game offline, and um, like I said, just by myself, went from park to park trying to trying to find games. Couldn't do it. When I did find games, I uh, I really couldn't. I really I, I really couldn't get the ball. And then when I did get the ball. I, I, I felt like I couldn't shoot the ball the way I wanted to. And then I ended up playing with my guys. Uh, that, that was a miserable experience. I'm not even going to lie to you. That experience was so miserable and so awful that it made me never want to play the game again. So, I mean, and during that experience, I went over 50%. I probably won 60, 60 to 70% of the games. I shot over 60 to 70%. Um, from the field, my shot wouldn't turn green because you're never getting the ball in rhythm when you're playing with randoms. You're always catching it. They always throw bad passes and you catching it like this. And then you got to square up. And then you got to hope that it's right. And then I felt like they, they changed the shot time and on, on my shot. So, and it could be because I'm using a wired controller now. So the built-in lag, um, like I just couldn't release the shot right. And so then I, I contrasted that with playing with my boy Star BMG and um, and and uh, and and uh, and the other cat we were playing with last night, one of one of my uh, one of my subs, he was a good point guard too. Uh, once he realized that I just wanted to let him run the point, he was killing it. But um, I tell you what, if you play with the wireless controller, you can use quick draw on on um on silver. But if you play with the wired controller, you can't. But anyway, I played with them, and then we won every game except for one. Because uh, because and I've just felt like I couldn't shoot the ball, and I'm hitting over sixty percent. And during this whole entire stretch, I felt like we lost every game, and I felt like I missed every shot. And I shot way above sixty percent, and we didn't lose but one game. It was in it was incredible. So it's like everything is so much more pronounced in two K uh, twenty. For whatever reason, I don't know what it is, but it just feels like everything is so much more pronounced and so much more agonizing when you're playing. Like the, the experience that I played with them, so so the first experience was agonizing and awful because you got random sprinting straight at the rim. We played against one random. Every time we played against him, he had some guys pull up that, that, that were on my, off my friend list. They were 99 overalls, 11 points a game. They was about that action. They couldn't beat 
that one random. Why? Because every single time he touched the ball, he sprinted straight into the paint and tried to dunk on Star. And Star blocked the shot every time. I even got some clutch blocks from the front. And I'm like, bro, what is he doing? Dude, we just kept laughing because we was like, yeah, they pulling up, but they don't know that he's going to sell the game. And sell the game he did in, in spectacular fashion. I knew because I had played with him earlier, so I was just letting him just sell everybody. We didn't, hey, it didn't bother me. Shouldn't be pulling up on me anyway when I'm offline. But anyway, it, it was just crazy, man. Like, this game is such a miserable experience to play by yourself. If you don't have, like, randoms don't want to get beat unconscious, so they, they that's why they're running around trying to find somebody that they feel like they can compete with. Because they know if you're a 98 or a 99, if you got a book sack on, if you got no shirt on, you know, somebody if you ain't got no shirt on or whatever, they know that they effectively have no chance. So they out of there. They're not going to play you at all because it's such a miserable experience when you don't have a team. Oh, but when you got a team, when you got a team and the ball is flowing and moving around and your shot is falling and all of that good stuff, man, the game is like poetry in motion. It's so easy, it's so much fun. You laughing at everything, you hitting greens. Everything is good then. But when you don't have a team, I mean, it's a completely miserable experience, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's why I haven't done Raising with Rattlers, because in, in 2K19, that game was so was so one-player heavy. I could completely carry a game in that one. My player that I have right now, he is not built to carry a game, so I can't really do Raising with Rattlers, because if we get behind, we're going to lose, and then I, I just can't do anything, because they're going to throw me late passes. They're going to throw me bad passes. Um, the other team ain't going to do nothing but stand in the paint. Bro, it was just insane, because... At one point when I was playing the game last night, the other team was literally standing in the paint. You try to make a pass across court that's nowhere near them. They have to do something about some of this stuff in the game. You shouldn't be able to stand in the paint if you're a center. You can stand in the middle of the paint and you can still just completely deny nearly every pass on the court. I'm from the wing passing it to the corner and the center just does this and he steals the ball. And then, like, when you tell people about it, like, bro, what, what is this, dudes? I'm playing the passing lane. You're not playing the passing lane. Because, and then, then when you see, I, I sit here and pass fake. Or I just stop. And then they reach. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you're not playing the passing lane. You just spamming square every time a person pauses. And you're hoping that you get a steal. Like, that's the, these are the things. They got to fix stuff like this. Like, the, you shouldn't be able to just steal passes from anywhere. First of all, we have to do some logic on this. First of all, we know we got the demigods out there. That's got to be gone. We've got the tendencies glitch. That has to be gone. We've got all this stuff that people are using to cheat the game. You got people out here with offensive threats stealing every pass because they got they have a uh, purple intimidator. I mean, I mean purple interceptor. It's insane, and and they don't even have the badges. I know some offensive off, people say some offensive threats got bad. Every offensive threat I've seen only has one badge but they steal the ball like they have intimidated because we know everybody's done the glitch everybody that we didn't play it against has been playing the, the first game we played against this one guy this one center he had like a 40 win percentage or something like that right stole every single pass i throw a pass from the corner from the wing to the corner try to lob it steal the pass i throw a, a he's standing in the middle of the paint i throw a ball across the top of the uh, across the top of the key steals the pass like that's insane right and then the next game the next two or three games we played him he just he's just completely trash and and he can't do anything coincidence i think not why is it that every time you play somebody for the first time they give you the hardest game in your life and then you continue to play them and they're complete garbage because they're doing the demigod glitch it's plain and simple the writing is right down the wall 2k people are ruining the game the game is being ruined for the people it's already hard enough to play this game as a random as it stands but my god you want people to play against demigods as randoms they're already not gonna play against people if you got a book bag on if you got no shirt on or yeah, stuff like that we already got the running culture but then when people feel like they're running from demigods it's just like man oh man it's, it's a miserable experience playing this game by yourself i see why people are saying that the game is dead because let's be honest most people out there aren't really that, they don't take the game that's, I'm not gonna say they're not that good because a lot of people out there are good. They just don't take the game that seriously so they don't care who they play with. But they still want a chance to win and that if they see somebody with the book bag on or any of that stuff right there, then they're just gonna, they're gonna dip. 
They're just not going to play him because it's a miserable experience. It just really is. Somebody said this a couple of weeks ago, so I wanted to test it out myself. He said, the game is dead for me, Jay, because I don't have anybody to play with. I'm new to 2K. Every time I play the game, I get destroyed, and there's nowhere for me to get better. I mean, I guess you could try to get better in the cages or something like that, but there's nowhere for you to get better because there's no matchmaking or anything like that you can try 3v3 program but after you win 10 games you just go get your head beat in over and over there's no type of skill based matchmaking in this thing i don't think there should be because nobody wants that like we know that the 2k community don't want no type of competition let's be real we know they don't everybody wants to just play against people that are less skilled than them and beat up on them that's how that's how this thing is that's why it's such a big thing when you see Ticino play all these guys it wasn't about the money it was just that we wanted to see people play the game uh, that, at a high level that that play this game that play part that's it but if you don't play this game bro it's so much stuff that needs to be. Y'all let me know if they need to fix the steals, if they need to tone those down, or if y'all are noticing the same thing. People are stealing impossible passes. My boy Coyote said this a couple of weeks ago. You're just pressing the button because a pass happened. You're not anticipating anything. You're not in front. Me, meanwhile, me, who plays between my guy and the ball, I can, I can stand there, hit L2 to turn around, put my put some ass on the dude and then jump at the ball and they still won't give it to me. But people who are continuously out of position get steals with no defensive badges. It is insane. That has to be addressed. The demigods got to be addressed. The shot timing has to be addressed. The shot timing is so bad, bro. And now y'all let me know this. Is anybody using silver quick draw? I tried to use silver quick draw. It did not matter. I've been using silver quick draw all year last week can't use it anymore it does not matter how long i hold the button it said that i was shooting the ball slightly early every single time every time it said slightly early i put on gold quick draw do the exact same thing the exact same motion boom now it's on time green 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 why are they trying to force people to use gold quick draw i don't understand it but it is what it is man like we got the game got to be fixed man we have to do something so that newer players will stay so we can beat the brakes off of them and then we also have to do something to appease the older players we don't i mean the, the players that are in the game like i said it's fun for me when i was playing with star and all them guys we had a ball we didn't lose but one game but it still felt like i missed every shot but all the shots was going in. I was hitting over 60%, win, winning over, we won like 90% that last, over 90, we had, we, we probably played like 30 games, we only lost one. So I don't, you do the percentage on that, I can't even do the percentage on that. But it's just insane that we just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know, man. If you are, if you normally play as a random or whatever, man, let me know what y'all think, man. Is that why y'all feel like the game is dead? Because I can definitely get behind what y'all are saying. It's just like with all the cheating going on and all the demigod stuff going on, all the bad like bad passes, bad picks. The, the bad picks, I'm cool with that, man. I, I ain't worried about that. They need to call that. But the fact that like like if you if you got a team, if you got one slasher on your team, right? The guy is such not a threat. That the center's just gonna sit in the paint the whole game, and whoever's guarding the slasher just just stands and plays center field. I'm not saying that's not smart, but they shouldn't be able to steal every pass. You should be able to punish a person not playing their man, and you can't do it. You make a pass, it doesn't matter, and it don't matter how smart of a pass you make. The center standing in the middle of the paint can literally steal every pass on the court. It's, it's insane. But it, like I said, though, I see why it's such an abysmal experience. I see why the game is dead for a lot of people. Because a lot of people, like, most people out there are randoms. A lot of people don't play with a set squad. A lot of people don't do this. We got to advocate for those people so they can come back to the park and we can beat the brakes off them, man. I mean, outside of waiting an hour for a game, sometimes, like, at, at the longest, we had to wait 25 minutes for a game. It's crazy. If all you play is park, I don't see how y'all do it, man. Y'all got to mobilize, man. This, this, this is ridiculous got to because if park dies you know the game is done but it don't matter though i'm gonna keep putting out five content and good videos and stuff but it's just crazy i just talked about that those two things for all that time like i said if your shot is off man use gold quick draw and then just get used to the faster shot because it's easier to get used to a faster shot than it is to a slower shot and 2k knows that and they move it so they move the timing so much no matter what bro i, I missed so many shots last night 
even though I shot over 60%, but like sometimes you know that your foot is on the line and you're shooting a two instead of a three. Boy, I got cold spots in the short corners. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but we're gonna figure that out. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Y'all let me know if y'all agree, if you disagree. Also, let me know, Dre or Michelle, uh, Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner, Dre or Michelle. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I hope y'all, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, let me know, am I, am I wrong about this stuff? Are, are the steals too crazy? Is it really that abysmal of, of a of a way to play this game? Uh, is it that bad of a feeling to play by yourself in this game? Is it almost impossible? When you do get a game, you know you're probably going to lose. Like that's got to be an awful feeling, man. That's why the parks are dead, and it ain't it ain't that many games. So so just think about it. I gotta wait 30 minutes for a game. And if, I, if my, oh, oh, God forbid your overall ain't high enough, you're not getting a game. So you got to worry about, you got to keep playing until somebody actually steps on the court. And then the lag, oh my God, bro. Like in the middle of the game, the game will just start lagging. It's like your, your controller ain't even responding, but it's just lag. I, I got it. I get it, guys. 2K, fix all of this, man. Get rid of this weak ass, whatever this stuff is in the park. Put it back like it was during a moment where you could play any court, man. This stuff is, uh, the game is almost unplayable. Ain't nobody can deal with this stuff, man. Like, who do you think pays all this money to play a game that you can't even play? They can't even play the game, bro. If you are, if you, if you are 60 overall, a 70 overall, 80 overall, 85, really like a 91, nobody wants to play with you. You gotta wait 30 minutes for a game. When you do get on the spot and, and somebody does play, you're probably gonna lose because the back back gonna pull up and then, then your, your 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 reward for getting on there and actually gutting it out is you're gonna lag the whole game and not be able to hit no shots even if you know your shot because you can't play on two of the courts and the, and you would say why not play on the come up court you can't play on the come up court of the court beside it bro what what you want these people to do man I, I, they really should get a class action law like if you're a random out there you should really get a class action lawsuit against 2k bro this game is unplayable for you in the park it just is if you're a random, now, regular people, it's barely playable. It's fun to me, and I love Rick, but like I said, bro, I get why people are saying it's dead. We know Park is the most popular mode. We know randoms are the most most of the people that make up the game. I see why people are saying that this game is dead. Whew, it ain't dead for me. But the life of a random for one day, I ain't never going back to that. And you can believe that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! And one more time, Dre Michelle, Brittany Ren, Brittany Ren, Dre Michelle. And I'm out. We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. Hold on, hold on, let me wait for the drop to come back. Doom, doom, doom. We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a bean. And, oh, damn, song gone. I am too. Peace.